Well, Minnesota Opera tonight opens up a brand new performance that lifts up the shared experience of Minnesota's Hmong community. In Hmong tradition, a song poet is one who tells stories through singing. And in this case, we have the story of a loving father told by his grateful daughter. My father would never describe himself as a poet. This is a love story that pours from the pages of a book. Through it all, he has been a poor person yearning for a father and living to be one. That father is B. Yang, a Hmong refugee from Laos. I grew up sheltered by his poetry, Tim. He sheltered us from the poverty of our lives with the beauty of his language and his vision of the world. It's my dad. Kao Kalia Yang is the young girl in the old pictures. She's now an acclaimed author who wrote a memoir to her father called The Song Poet. My father would say that he can barely write his own name in English. My father sings. He stores his songs in his heart and they come out from that very same heart. It's a heart that now beats new life on stage. It is a story of shared humanity, and, um, and it's quite beautiful. The idea for the opera came when a past director at Minnesota Opera read the song poet and knew the book's voice was also a stage voice. I learned how to sing love songs long before I learned how to love. Kalia, who wrote the voice of her father, also wrote the opera's libretto. I could finally enter into these spaces and reimagine the story of my father through song. A story of her father fleeing the war in Laos, living in a refugee camp in Thailand, and settling his family in St. Paul. It is utterly unlike any part of my life, and yet I find myself relating to the journey and the commitment that her parents had to their dreams and to the preservation of their culture and their family. Through most of his life, poetry has been his friend, all from a book about a father's love, where the song poet is still singing his story. She's writing about my soul. Regardless of what happens in this opera, I get to go home to my father still. And that is the greatest gift. Boy, isn't it? Minnesota Opera opens Song Poet tonight at the Luminary Arts Center in the North Loop in Minneapolis. It has 10 performances, and so far the response has been so overwhelming that nearly every show is sold out. No, no surprises there at all. I mean, just watching your them. story, I want to see the show. Yeah, it looks right? amazing. I do too. I do too. And Kali, I just, I can't tell you. How wonderful of an author uh, Kalia is! You read her, you read her books, and oh my goodness, you're just drawn into it mm -hmm. and how she she writes about her father, and just an amazing spirit too. Yeah. She walks into the library. We met her at the <laughs> um, at the Freedom Library in the East Side of St. Paul, and she just she just lights up the entire place. Mm -hmm. So, gosh, her dad must be so proud. Right? Yes, that's awesome. Absolutely, <laughs> boy. And and again, opens tonight. So. Good luck to all we'll of the see. performers tonight. Yeah.